Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishore from AppsTBR.info. In this session, we will take care of the custom top registration. Uh, you know, a lot of students have asked me, uh, like, how do we do custom registration? See, in our case, if you remember, uh, we already had a custom top, and the ID is uh, two uh, zero 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 three. Okay, two zero 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 three. So uh, we need to use the uh, same ID. We need to use the same ID when we do the uh, custom registration. So actually uh, Oracle has come up uh, with a particular patch and the patch number is like uh, 3636980, right? So that, uh, you know, when you unzip that particular patch, uh, it will have three files like news prod, xxizu prod, xxizu, uh, error three files will be there so we need to update these three files according to our uh, product so in our case it is xxerp you know so we need to update uh, xxerp xxerp terror it by default it will be izu so our product name is uh, uh, you know uh, xxerp so we need to change these three files right so that's the uh, you know that's the first step what we do and we need to use the existing id so what we do is we open the three files and news prod and we we do this changes and the second file we update uh, our product name is xxerp so we update the file as xxerp and we need to change it you know we need to use the same product id in case of um, new custom top registration we should give a new id but in case of um, uh, existing one uh, which i already mentioned here i have a small note id uh, if you are upgraded your environment from an earlier release to release 12.2 then you should run ad splice for your custom application again after the upgrade using the same application id and the application name as when you originally added your custom application running the release 12.2 version of an ad splice after the upgrade helps ensure that custom top folder for your application will be included when the two file systems are synchronized during the online patching so we update the three files and wherever you know wherever the product name is there we should use the same one so i may just mention all which are marked in yellow you just have to change it change it and what we need to do is we need to copy these three files into apple top admin we need to copy these three files to apple top admin and we need to run ad splice once you run ad splice it will ask you uh, the location of uh, it will ask you uh, for the location of uh, uh, this particular news prod dot text and you you say yes but it, it internally uses all the three files it also runs the auto config uh, you know just be careful it also runs the auto config so when you run this particular select statement now what it will do is it will uh, you know one record you know the statement should return only one uh, record because that is what so you can also verify this and and you don't need to worry about the schema the schema would have been already come from uh, from your 1213 database right so we are not changed the database so database as it is came from 1213 so that's the reason why we have we have the entire schema right and after running the ad splice you just have to log out and log in uh, and so that the environment file is created for you now if you say eco xx erp top you will find it so after that what happens is uh, ad splice will create a basic structure with uh, like four folders now what we need to do we need to create uh, two extra folders like forms reports and also you can verify whether the custom top is registered or, uh, registered uh, as the entries uh, in this particular file in this particular file whether it's there or not you should see and now from the 1213 you need to copy all the files like you know forms reports sql whatever whatever entire stuff you can just copy i just uh, made an example i uh, know we just made an example but it continues you know it continues that you know you copy all the all the files from uh, you know forms reports sql files because that, those, those are the things like you would have did some custom changes all the custom changes you know custom top uh, changes as to the files has to be copied so in case if we don't need to compile but in case if you want to compile we can use frm cmp uh, you know uh, batch module and you can compare it so uh, suppose your organization says that uh, hey uh, you we want to register a new product new product and new custom top some companies may have more than one top also they may ask you to do a, a custom top region those steps are also mentioned there is only one difference the process is same except that 
we we need to run this particular query and we need to enter a random id which is never been used in case of new custom top registration we need to enter a random id which is never been used so then you should select that number should not be used then the process is same you will have three files you update it in this case your product name will be uh, 50201 so you enter that and you run the a display the process is same uh, so you can see the entries and all so now you can start building your uh, new forms new reports here because you you are not migrating but you are creating a new custom top so that's about uh, you know that's about this custom top just little be a uh, lot of students were asking sir this uh, because in interview questions and all they were asking how do you handle this uh, you know custom top just remember that for an upgrade instance like from 1213 to you know 122 the schema is not a problem because schema is already coming because the same database you're using right uh, but only case of uh, the forms and reports so uh, in 12.2 in every application has to be registered so you in case of uh, existing custom top we need to uh, get the latest id we need to get the latest custom or whatever is the id which has been used in the uh, uh, you know whatever is the id which has been used in 1213 we should use but in case of new custom top we should use a new id so in this case we are already having if you, in your database you can verify that you know you will have the existing id so you should use that and oracle you can go through this note id i did a multiple times uh, you know i did a multiple times and it has never uh, given any issue two three times if you try you know it will work there are three files which you need to modify uh, you know you, you need to update according to you know according to whatever is your custom top and run ad splice and log out and log in and you can log out and log in uh, log out and log in and you can you can see your custom top right uh, you know once the custom top is registered you have to copy all the the entire thing from 1213 you know uh, application uh, in case if you want to compile it but in case of uh, new registration you initially itself you should get a new id you have to f random id you need to use which has never been used and you need to uh, do the register very interesting part if you, you know uh, if you do that so just try it you know uh, unless you put a hands on uh, nothing will work out you just try this and uh, please pass on your uh, you know, comments so thank you very much for watching uh, watching this session on uh, on custom top uh, registration of an existing and also a new product